Good morning everyone, it's Gabby here. Um, just like that, we have reached day 60 of the quarantine workout plan, um, which I find absolutely mind-blowing and what an amazing achievement. 60 days of different workouts, of new workouts, um, all getting slowly a little bit more difficult. Um, it's crazy because I was talking to my granddad yesterday and they, they're one day ahead and he was saying how you know his breathing has changed and his response to exercise has changed um, and that's taken 60 days to get to um, and that's such a huge amount of time and it's interesting because I think we all embarked on this journey including me not really knowing how long it was going to go on for what you know it's kind of a bit of blind faith and it's amazing that the results that have come out of it having that not been the primary focus you know the primary focus of this was to give people something to do um that was going to help them um but i didn't know how much it was going to help i didn't know how much people were going to enjoy it and it's amazing knowing um yeah how much it's affected different people even though that's not been at the forefront of the mind of why, why we're doing this um so yeah so 60 days in we have an incredible community of people we have some amazing stories that people have been sharing um so yeah so a big celebration to everyone um and yeah i think that's that's all from me um yeah that's my piece on things so today the 60th birthday workout we have again some nice mobility stuff our normal um normal cardio warm-up we've obviously got the can can in there um because would it be a birthday without the can can probably not and then we have three nice little circuits um stepping up a little bit at the end with some nice kind of intense cardio so i've been speaking for nearly two minutes now i do apologize let's get started So, hands on the front of your thighs, sliding down towards the floor. Take a deep breath in, breathe out and sink into the floor a bit further. And again, deep breath in, breathe out and sink into the floor. Last one, breathing in, breathe out, sink into the floor. And rolling all the way up. Okay, this time we're gonna go down the side. Again, deep breath in, breathe out and sink a little bit further. And same the other side. And back to centre. Okay, hands on the knees, giving them a little bit of a wiggle round. And the other way. Good, okay, feet slightly wider than the hips, circling round. I feel like wearing all black makes me feel like I'm wearing the quarantine workout tuxedo. <laughs> this is my business attire. Other way. Good, okay, looping your arms in front of you, rotating left and right, Ooh, something just click. Good, okay, hands on your shoulders, rolling the shoulders back. And rolling them forwards. Whole arm forwards. And whole arm back. Good. 
Good. Let's bring them across the body now. <sighs> Click. <laughs> Surprised I haven't fallen into tiny little pieces yet. Good, and rest there. Okay, last little bit, just with the neck, doing our figures of eight. So down, round. Good. And rest there, perfect. Okay, let me just move that back a little bit. Fantastic, so. Today's workout, we're now going to move into the cardio bit. We've got some marching, some kicking, some side steps, and the can-can to finish off with. So, either doing this seated or standing, marching on the spot, off we go. Good. Ten seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Good. Three, two, one. And now hands on your hips, holding on, or if you're in sitting, we're just going to kick forward. Off we go. Ten seconds down. Halfway there. Good. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, we're now going to do just a side step. If you want to add in the arms, feel free. We're going to go in. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Good, three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, the last, but obviously by last, by no means least, we have our can-can, so knee, down, and kick and the opposite side. Hold on if you need to, do it in sitting if you need to, link arms with someone if you would like to, um, and obviously sing if you would like to. <laughs> no, that's maybe a bit much. Okay, off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Final five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Perfect. Okay, we are going straight into the first circuit. So we have two exercises. We're gonna go around once and then go around twice and then go on to the next one. So first exercise, horizontal flies. Holding the tins, touch at the front, squeeze the shoulders back. Touch at the front, squeeze back. Same sitting as it is standing. Um, if you can, keep the tip, well actually no, to be fair, you can either have them horizontal um, or vertical, it doesn't really matter on this one. So that's exercise number one. Exercise number two is our backward lunges. So from here, taking a big stride back, dip the knee down, come back and switch over. Down, back up. If you need a bit of support, please use the chair. From here, back down and back up again. If that's too difficult, then just tapping backwards for me. Okay, so three different options there. So let's get started on the first one, our horizontal flies. Holding the tins in front of you. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. My granddad likes to bash the tins together with every repetition, <laughs> much to my grandma's great frustration. But there is something satisfying 
about the, the clink of a tin. Good, 10 seconds left. Squeezing those shoulders back. Good, three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, tins go down. Hands on your hips, holding onto the chair, or just tapping back. We're gonna go into our backwards lunges in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. So remember, we're trying to sink down rather than bending kind of forward. It's more of a downward movement. Feel it in your legs and your bum, hopefully. Good, 10 seconds to go. Keeping the work rate high. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there, fantastic. Okay, we're going straight back into the first exercise. Minimal rest period. I'm gonna do this one sitting down. So, tins in front, squeeze behind. Five, four, three, two, one, off we go. Good. 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Good, three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, tins go down, make sure my computer doesn't die. And back to our backward lunges. So I'm gonna do the supported version now. Please feel free to do the one that works best for you. And we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Final five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Good, we smashed through the first circuit. So one, tur one circuit ticked off. Um, we're going to go straight into our second one. Um, so our second one, we have uh, the first exercise is our halos. Um, so tin above your head, drawing nice big circles above the head. Try and keep the arms a little bit straighter if you can. My grandparents have a, have, have a, you know, a tendency to kind of do this. Have the arms a bit straighter. So you get a nice kind of movement through the core. That's number one. Number two is our flutter kicks. So, kind of a little bit of cardio, but actually really good for firing up through the front of the thighs. Holding onto the chair or hands on your hips. Kicking out nice and straight in front of you for 30 seconds. So there are two exercises. So, let's get started with the first one. Pick up your tin, arm above your head. We're going to go in. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Oof, lots of clicking and creaking. Three, two, one, and rest there, perfect. That one flew by. Okay, popping the tin down, having a sit down for this one. This one can only be done sat down. Um, remembering that the kicking ideally is to come from the hip, so I don't want you kind of doing this. It's a straight leg kick, and that's gonna help us fire up the quads a little bit more and through the hip flexors. So getting ready into position, we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. I think this is my grandma's favorite exercise. <laughs> So I make sure to treat it to treat her to it every few days. Ten seconds down. Halfway there. 
10 seconds to go. Good, keep going, final five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Brilliant. Okay, again, keeping the work rate high. Actually, I'm gonna stay seated for this one. Halo, stand up if you would like. I'm gonna sit down just so you can see my arms a little bit better. Tin above your head. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. So big circles round. Five seconds down. 10 seconds down. Halfway there. Good, 10 seconds to go. Good, keep it up. Final three, two, one, and rest there. Perfect. Tim goes down, getting ready for our final set of the flutter kicks. We are racing through it today, keeping the work rate nice and high. So hands on your hips, remember to keep the legs straight. Three, two, one, off we go. Imagine you're in that swimming pool, kicking nice and fast. 10 seconds down. Halfway there. Final 10, nine, eight. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, and rest there. Oof, lovely, okay. We are two circuits down. We have our final circuit to do. Um, so obviously we have our normal bit of cardio. It's not a pure cardio one. However, we're gonna do quick feet, which is kind of like jogging on the spot, which is obviously one of the more intense cardio exercises. And we're gonna superset that with our tin swings, which I'll explain in a second. So the difference with today is that we're supersetting it with another difficult exercise. So normally I do a cardio exercise with one that's a little bit simpler, but today we're doing a cardio exercise with a difficult exercise still. So we are continuing to push ourselves, but don't panic. Obviously you can dictate how hard or how easy you work. So just a quick reminder, quick feet. Oh gosh, quick reminder myself that there's a chair behind me. Um, quick feet is basically jogging on the spot, okay? Going as fast as you feel comfortable to do so. If you're doing it in sitting, it's exactly the same, okay? Um, the tin swings, you need one tin. You swing it between your knees and above your head. Between your knees and above your head, which in sitting looks exactly the same, between the knees and above the head. So as you can see, both exercises are quite um, high on the intensity level, um, or kind of on the movement level. So yeah, just see how you get on with it. Right, let's get started with quick feet to begin. Actually, I'll do the first round seated. Okay, we're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. Good, final 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Fantastic, okay, picking up the tin. I'm gonna stay seated for this one, but again, feel free to do it in standing. Just a reminder, we're going through the knees and above the head behind. So we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. This is the last exercise of our final circuit. And we go around once more and then it's cool down time. 10 seconds down. Halfway there. Good, 10 seconds to go. Try not to let go of your tin. <laughs> it's been done before many times. Three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, take a deep breath in, through the nose, out through the mouth. We've been
been exercising for nearly 18 and a half minutes. But the work rate's been high today, very, very high. Okay, I'm gonna do the second round of them standing, but feel free to, again, just do what works best for you. So first one is our quick feet, AKA jogging on the spot. And we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. Good, as with always with the cardio, working as hard as you can, knowing that we've got our cool down next. Good, halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Final five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, deep breath in and out. Okay, picking up the tin. Last exercise of the last circuit, then we have our much deserved cool down for our 60th birthday workout. Okay, let's get ready to go in. Five, four, three, two, one, off we go. Five seconds down. 10 seconds down. Good, halfway there. Keep the work rate high. Final 10 seconds. Good, three, two, one, and rest there. Whew. Let's put our dreaded tins down. We have made it to the end. Nice deep breath in. If you're gonna take your heart rate, do it now. If you feel like more cardio, find one of the cardio add-ons. Okay, arms by your side. Take a nice deep breath in and bring your arms above your head. Ooh. <laughs> Brushing any plants next to you if they, if they happen to be in the way. And exhale them down. And again, breathe them back up. And back down. Okay, this next one holding at the top. Breathe out and arch backwards. Back to center. Breathe in, exhale and down to the side. Back to center, breathe in, exhale and down to the right. Nice stretch to the side there. Been exercising for nearly 22 minutes. Back to the center and breathe the arms down. Both hands on one hip, looking over the shoulder, pulling yourself round. And the other side. Back to center and exhale. Okay, last little bit. Again, you should know this part in your sleep by now, but if you're stretching in your sleep, maybe you need to question that. <laughs> Quarantine workout is taking over your, your dreams. Okay, ear to shoulder, give it a little pull. If you want, you can rotate in a little bit. I'm intrigued to know how everyone's necks are feeling. My grandma's never done this amount of neck mobility before, and yeah, it's really responding well to, it's responding well to it. But as I said at the start, when you do something consistently for 60 days I don't think I've ever committed to myself to doing something for 60 days and here I am accidentally doing it <laughs> and the other side I'm 
so particularly with kind of a blind faith about something but just doing it for the right intentions and just being yeah trusting that something good will come from it and resting there well done everybody we have made it to the end of day 60 six decades of workouts um it is a saturday where i am so i'm going to go and celebrate getting today 60. um feel free to send some pictures to me um send some emails um yeah it would be lovely to hear how everyone's getting on and maybe i can put them on the social channels as well that'd be good um but yeah i wish everyone a lovely day i hope everyone is staying healthy and sane whilst in isolation um and yeah have a lovely day everyone see you tomorrow for day 61 bye bye